Good morning. Alright, on this one, this is one of the restoration knives. Now we're going to do more of a conversion, or a full-blown conversion on this one. Now this is one of the uh, model 1917s, made in 1918. Now this one is a little different brand than the other two that I showed you that we did. This is a plum brand made in Philadelphia. Now I've done three, four, this will be number five on these and there may be another one or two in a different box, I don't know. Uh, the man wants me to take this one and then convert it to a bowie knife. He sent me a picture of one somebody had done and I took the worst one, uh, worse as far as collectability because this one somebody has really really ground on it before and the the tang stamp barely barely readable and here and it'll still be there when I get done but uh it's a uh, as far as being a collectible knife this is the least one plus this thing your hand is loose so I have to fix that <coughs> when I put some marks on there and we're gonna make it a bowie knife. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this one, I'm just gonna grind the material away slowly, keeping it cool so we won't mess the metal up. It looks like a lot, but it's not really. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I'll put it on. I think I can get it in the knife jig to regrind bevels on it. Fix all this. The handle's in good shape. Just needs to be cleaned up resealed and I will also make a custom sheath for this one pretty cool huh all right let's go to the grinder I'll see you over there all righty we all set up here got my water bucket over here we're gonna start with the clip point then when I said it's not as much grinding as you think because it's thin right here so it's not the full thickness right here. Now it will be down here for a spot, but it'll be all right. Watch your ears. We'll finish it off over on the 4x36 in the end. Now we'll nibble out some of this, this material right here. It'll make me a little jig. All right, got me a little block of wood right there for that to sit on so it'll stay flat. 
so I can control this a little better. Now, here we go. I think that's about the shape we want for the blade a little bit of a belly in it here not much now I'm gonna take the round wheel here and we're gonna straighten this on out a little bit more sharpen that up just a little bit hang on let me see who's calling me like that now, next step let's change the refiner belt let's move that out some a little bit more get that out of the way
There we go. What do y'all think? Looks like a Bowie to me. Now, next step, we're going to get it over to the, get the grinding jig out and see if I can't get it mounted up in there so we can grind us some bevels that look pretty nice on there. Now, this is going to be a using knife. Very, very capable of being used, as they all are, but, uh, and then we'll start the hand sanding process. All right, I had to take the handles off to get it in the jig properly. I didn't take this cap off here. It's a little pommel cap. It's pinned on there. This one is set up different than the other one too. It was pinned, friction pin holding the uh, the finger guard on, right here. That was a little odd, but uh, didn't hurt to take them off. I need to get all that cleaned up anyway. All right, move this a little bit. Let's put us a uh, couple of grinds on there and see what it looks like. Adjust it just a little bit. Now, I don't know what the angle is going to wind up being on here, but it doesn't really, in my opinion, matter what angle it is. There we go. Let's try that. That's better. But we need a fresh belt. That's a pretty grind right there. Now we'll get it flipped over, let it cool first. Get it flipped over and do the other side. May have to come back to this side, but uh, I don't think so. All right, there's the grind on the other side, pretty much even. And this is a primary grind because it was already ground thin here and down here, still a little fat in the center. So, what I'm going to do is adjust the jig. And we'll do a secondary grind. I don't want to take it all the way to sharp yet, but I just want to get that secondary on there. Let it cool off, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, that side's done. Now, when it's time to sand, I'll blend all that together, and there won't be two distinctive lines there. Pretty cool. Speaking of cool, it's got to cool down again. <laughs> Secondary grinds are in. Now, before we start sanding, I'm going to wire brush, clean it up a little bit. Then we'll bolt it down over here and go to blending and smoothing and making it look pretty.
Alrighty, I'll sand and we will go. We'll see it after I get about halfway now. It's gonna take a while. Alright, everything polished up, sanded, cleaned. Now we're gonna get it in the dip tank. Get in there. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger tank. Get some on there. She did to start with, ain't it? All right, it's all over me, but that's okay. I'll sit for a minute, get it rinsed and wiped, and take a look. Be still, truck. All righty, look at what we have here. That looks like a Bowie knife to me. Well, Jim Bowie himself would be proud to tote that one. There it is. Nice and sharp. Very sharp. Let's see. Look at the handle. Cleaned the handle really well. Polished it up some. And there we go. Now tomorrow, I will build a sheath. Got a couple other leather projects to do tomorrow. Just thought y'all might enjoy seeing something besides a restoration. Uh, a conversion, if you will. <laughs> there we go. That'll be it for this video. The leather, because I've got two projects. I'll show you all the leather tomorrow. And I'm just about wore out for one day. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll see y'all next time.